Miller Leyland, 32, a yoga teacher who lives in Cornwall, England, converted to Islam. A single mother to daughter, in Ayah, she converted in her mid-twenties for a intellectual and feminist reasons. She explains, I know people will be surprised to hear the words feminism, and Islam in the same breath, but in fact, the teachings of the Quran give equality to women, and at the time the religion was born, the teachings went against the grain of a misogynistic society. The mistake that people makes by confusing culture with religion. Yes, there are Muslim cultures which do not allow women, individual freedom yet, when I was growing up. I felt more oppressed by Western society. She talks of the pressure on women to act like men by drinking, and are having casual sex. There was no real meaning to it all. In Islam, if you begin a relationship, that is a commitment of intent. Growing up in Southampton, her father was the director of Southampton Institute of Education, and her mother a home economics teacher. Camilla's interest in Islam began at school. She went to university, and later took a master's degree in Middle East studies. But it was while living, and working in Syria that she had a spiritual epiphany. Reflecting on what she'd read in the Quran, she realized she wanted to convert. Her decision was met with bemusement by friends and family. People found it so hard to believe, that an educated, middle-class white woman would choose, to become Muslim. She says she is grateful to find Islam. She said that her determination to hold on to her religion became stronger, when she attended a friend's birthday at a bar, when she appeared in the hijab. I walked in, in my headscarf, and tight clothes, saw all eyes on me, and some who were drunk uttered profanity, or danced provocatively. For the first time, I witnessed my past with one eye and I knew I would never want to return to that kind of life," said the mother of Inna Ayah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share.